All right, I am back. I'm very pleased that I have not dropped uh, any significant amount of frames, despite how ridiculous it was streaming earlier today. I actually put the settings back up to where they should be. None of the 720 noise. I don't deal with that. Anyway. So, um, yeah, what, what do I have here? Show notes. Gotta love show notes. Um, oh, oh, there we go. Other, other side there. Those show notes. <laughs> um, so yeah, a few of the people here. Uh, in fact, most of the people here, because there's only like five or six of you right now, that's okay. That'll change. Um, we're watching my uh, my prep stream earlier today, where I was working on my exercise, the exercises that I proposed last week. So the two exercises I proposed. Uh, the first one was uh, uh, take uh, listen to random conversations that happen around you throughout the week and write down a bunch of lines that people say and write a scene with those. So I did that one. Uh, I also did the music one, the music one that I proposed, where you take uh, about five tracks, uh, randomly shuffled through them, uh, randomly shuffled from a library and uh, write a scene using those five songs. You get one veto if you really need it. Uh, you don't always, but sometimes you do. Uh, I actually had a bunch of my friends uh, submit to a playlist, a Spotify playlist, uh, specifically so I could do that. Uh, and it was really cool, because uh, it's easy when it's your own music and you're familiar with it. It's much, much more interesting for stuff that you're not familiar with, because uh, you gotta, you kind of have to adapt it and, and gain perspective on uh, certain stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I'm going to show off some of that stuff that I worked on. Uh, so yeah, here. So this is the one I wrote. Um, this is the wrong thing. Quotes. So here's my list of quotes. Uh, did I text the wrong person? I learned how to drive standard loaded. I took, I look better as a guy than a girl in these Snapchat things. Give me poetry, my peasants. Uh, she's not gonna, gonna like hearts. Well, we'll see. Nah, man, we're identical. If Gabriel's list were on this, I would. I thought you were here to serve us. I have a card to let me in if I go early or late. Paint your picture with his words. There's just so much going on in my mind. <laughs> so I took these quotes and I, I saw a pattern and I started to rearrange them. So what I read from this was I read a pattern of poetry. Um specifically from the poetry line, but also when you talk about things like painting a picture and uh, she's not going to like hearts. Uh, so I, 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 I laid out like this little bit of a framework of these quotes and I started to fill in details of the scene I was setting. Uh, so I started out with a, a teacher uh, at, in, a, in a creative writing class and uh, about two characters who were interacting. Um, one who knows what he's writing, one who can't write, he's staring at the black page. Um, and I, yeah, so I filled that out and I filled in little spots where, where uh, the lines go. And uh, yeah, uh, so I, uh, I added, I started adding a little bit more flavor then. Uh, I added some drama, some tension, uh, started to, uh, <laughs> no, Sam, you didn't say the poetry line. I actually stole it from Derek's drunk, drunk stream the other night, uh, when I got home from work. 
so yeah, uh, I started adding tension. Um, this specific section I found out here where the character lies in order to uh, kind of be supportive of his friend, but at the same time not to be... Uh, because he's scared to admit that he doesn't know what he's doing. Um, and I started building this sort of a fallacy. Um, but it actually gets a little bit more interesting. Um, when uh, the Sam character uh, starts, uh, volunteers to read his poem and like how the class interprets that and how they, uh, how much of a uh, dysphoria there is between uh, Sam and the other character who's basically me. Um, right. And uh, I'm going to get to that, Johnny. Uh, in fact, right now. Uh, so in the second exercise, the one with the music, what I did was um, started out with R.E.M., Losing My Religion. Uh, the five tracks are here on the side. Uh, started out with Losing My Religion. Um, and when he said the lines about the spotlight and saying too much and not saying enough, I really got a sort of melancholy vibe uh, that was similar to what I was writing in the previous scene. Um, and then I got the second track, which was I Found by Amber Run. And it had this line, it's like, I'll use you as a warning sign. So that really solidified the thought process for me, where I said, well, this is kind of Sam using Brendan as his warning sign. And the RAM really worked with that because it's kind of, it's kind of talking about, you know, the writing process, like uh, expressing yourself. Uh, so I started writing this scene from Sam's perspective. Uh, I stole the first line from the, the previous, uh, from the other draft to write the beginning. And then uh, the third song was Mona D. Um, and the third song had very few lyrics. It really only had one or two choruses. They were kind of like halfway through the song, uh, which is fine. It's actually, it's actually a very good to have a mix of instrumental and lyrical music uh, because you can do a lot with the emotion and feel of a song. Uh, so in this case, what I did was I, um, there was a very bouncy, energetic song. So I kind of equated that with Sam walking to the front to read his piece, uh, to read it, write, read his poetry out loud from the, from the previous scene. Um, and then there was this line, it's like, this is home where we are, uh, that happened later on in the song as I was writing this. And that really, that like really gave me a sense of, Sam knowing what he wants to do and, and being comfortable with his writing and where he is as a writer uh, and all that stuff. Um, so that was, that was that. So then next came Into the Darkness by the Phantoms and that was a very tense song. It built a lot of tension. It was a little bit more metal. Um, so I equated that with like the walk back with, with Brendan staring at Sam and, and kind of being like jealous uh, jealous of, 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 of his friend, but not wanting to be a bad friend, uh, and all that stuff. So then, uh, the last song, which was Moments, uh, had this cool, like, I equated it earlier to a wave, where it has a build, but it never quite goes over the edge. Um... So it kind of just like rolls up and then rolls up and then rolls up and then lulls and then rolls up. And, and I kind of got this, this like sensation of, of, of running away, of uh, still keeping that sort of tension, not quite resolving things. Um, so I kind of, I kind of wrote this scene where this like section where Sam kind of escapes at the bell sort of style thing. Um, and I actually kind of really like this, so I'm probably going to work on it a little bit on the side uh, as, as, a, as a one single piece with the two scenes in, uh, together. Uh, but, but yeah, like, so these are the, this is what I did with the exercises uh, that I proposed last week. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with the way that they turned out. Um, 
And if anyone has anything, any, if anyone wants to share one that they worked on with me, just send me a uh, PM on Twitch or uh, if, uh, if I've gotten the link up properly yet, uh, I'll send you the link to the Discord. You can post them on there. Uh, and I'll take a look and see what's what. Um, and hopefully other people will comment as well. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with these. Uh, they're not the most interesting writing I've ever done, but I think they have a lot of potential. I think there's a lot of character drama. Uh, yeah. So, good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Let's have a water. I mean, I suppose you're right, Johnny, that it does cause a lot of chaos, but I mean, that's how drama is. Like, that's, that's what causes drama, is chaos, and that's okay. Keep in mind that, you know, what you put on the page for the first thing doesn't really matter. Uh, because you're going to, you can always change it later, Right? Like, you can erase things um, and reconstruct. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, so, a couple new people in the channel. Uh, I, was just, uh, I was just explaining um, the exercises I was doing earlier that I proposed in my last episode, uh, which are kind of just like randomly, uh, random generation of ideas. Uh, through music and through uh, overheard dialogue uh, and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's what I did there. Um, yeah. So it's 9 o'clock. Um, I think we're going to end it a little earlier this week as well because we're still in theory week. Uh, theory week 2. Yeah, what Smith Ross says. Don't get it right, just get it written. You can get it right in the rewrite. Totally. Um, yeah. And, and what I was talking about is like when you asked about the chaos, right? Um, those, that chaos is kind of important because it, it, it allows you a certain, um, it'll, it, it, it kind of forces you to put things in that you wouldn't necessarily have, have thought of, uh, before. Right. Uh, it pushes you a little bit further than you like past your save point. Um, and that and, and you can always dial that back later. Like you can rewrite that. That's not a problem. You can move things around. Um, you can, you can get rid of entire things, but it's, it's, it's now you have ideas on the page and, and you can, you can move around that stuff. Um, so this, this was a short story just cause it was part of the exercise. Uh, I also studied screenwriting. Uh, that's that's what I studied in college, um, so I I totally get you, man. I do. And yeah, conflict equals drama, uh, for sure. Um, so yeah, uh, I will probably post versions of these drafts on uh, my website, uh, which is accidentalorigin.com, uh, with the show notes and all that stuff as well. Um, so that'll all be on there. Uh, cause you know, I did the exercise as part of the show and it's important to show that. Uh, so yeah, the last thing I'm going to go for, do for today, um, is I'm going to go talk about the book club again. Um, Yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna go back to my big screen here. Boom, yeah. So, uh, for last week and this week, uh, we're doing Brick by Brick by Stephen McCraney. Uh, I talked about this a lot earlier in the stream because uh, a lot of it was applicable to what I was trying to get uh, my notes for today. And um, yeah, um, this book is, is fantastic. It's it really gets deep into all the different aspects of being an uh, artistic and creative person, 
Uh, it talks about things like procrastination, talks about things like um, uh, creativity, uh, inspiration, influences, uh, how to learn properly, uh, artistic lineage, um, all those good things. Uh, no problem, Johnny. It, it's, it's primarily for me to learn just as much as it is for you guys to learn. Um, so yeah, I love this book. Uh, I bought the full package, uh, as soon as I found it, uh, cause I was really inspired by one of the essays for many, many years, even though I didn't know who there, who was by. Um, so I bought the book. I have the exercise book that comes with it. I have a couple posters. Uh, actually I'm going to show it here. Uh, I hope, I hope this isn't going to be, oh, it's going to be kind of blown up. Steve McCranny, uh, signed it and drew an elephant in it, which is kind of like an in-joke in the book about the elephant. So there's totally, uh, I bought that package. I love this. Uh, I swear, I swear by this book. Uh, I, 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 it wasn't the original book I was going to do for the first book for the accidental book club, but it's, it's, I'm glad I picked it because it has a lot more to do with creativity and the writing process, which is kind of what the first two episodes have been about. Um, <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't have it nearby. Sorry. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd show that book again. But it was it was a hell of fun. Um, actually, I will show that again because that's so totally relevant to what I'm talking about. Where did I put it? There. It so last week on stream, I was showing this, and I'll show this again, and it actually shows up much better with the new lights. Uh, but this is the boys' doodle book, uh, and it's basically a series of, of drawing prompts. Uh, and this is fantastic when it, when it comes to inspiration, right? Because uh, it basically gives you a, a really good jumping off point uh, for your process. Uh, and to be honest, I mean, these are, these are equally good prompts uh, for writing as they are for drawing. Um, you know, they ask a very simple question. And, and building on that question is, is all about how you come to your artistic presence. And this is exactly what, like, those questions are exactly what I was talking about when I was talking about Flight and, 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 and those really cool graphic novel anthologies where, you know, someone proposes a question and then a bunch of creative people come up with different answers in their own style, in their own, in their own way, in their own, with their own personal experiences. Um, and you know, a lot of, uh, anthologies are like that. I mean, I, I think of the really famous anthologies of Thieves World by Robert Asprin and, um, uh, Wild Card by George R.R. R. Martin, what he did before he wrote Game of Thrones, uh, and all that where, you know, you get a bunch of people and you surround them with an idea and, and, and you all just, you, you get all these different takes on that idea. Um, and that's something I haven't really talked about. I did talk uh, about kind of ideas of originality and, and all that stuff earlier, but uh, as much as I, I as much as I totally believe in the idea that there is no such thing as an original idea, uh, not, not that that's a bad thing, but just that that's a thing. Uh, it's also one thing to say that if you give two writers the same story, they're not going to write it the same way. And that's 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 again what I was talking about when I talked about that idea of originality, where perception uh our presentation of an idea is is what makes us original and not necessarily the idea itself because uh, we're always building on 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 that kind of stuff um no i i do not know the site art prompts though i have heard a couple people discussing it i'm gonna write it down and i'm a big believer in multi uh multidisciplinarianism as I've talked about a few times over the last little while. And uh, for me, art prompts are just, um, are just as good as writing prompts for starting a story, for starting a writing story. Um, in fact, in some, in some ways, they can be better uh, because they're not specifically designed for writers. And how you choose to interpret them is, is a much a much bigger mental stretch for you. It pushes you further. You learn more from doing it. 
uh, especially if it fails, and, and to the new guys in the room, a few new people, uh, I'll reiter reiterate it again for you, but failure is the first step of learning. The second step is analyzing your failure so you know why you failed. Um, so yeah, uh, and I did write down that Reddit subgroup as well. I don't spend a ton of time on Reddit anymore. Uh, I don't know. I just, I didn't get into the community in the same way that a lot of people did. Uh, my friends were always really into it, so I know a lot about it. Uh, but yeah, I've heard the writing communities there and some of the game dev communities are really, really good. Uh, and some of the art communities as well, from what I understand. Uh, though again, yeah, I, I don't spend that much time on Reddit anymore. Um, so yeah, Brick by Brick, fantastic read. I actually tweeted Stephen McCraney today saying I was going to be talking about his book on stream. Uh, so... I hope he appreciates it because I said good things. Because it's really, this book inspired me a lot. Uh, it changed my process a lot. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, if there's any questions in the chat, uh, anything you want to know about me, anything you want to know about the show, uh, please feel free to ask. Um, I am opening up to an open Q&A for, uh, for a few more minutes, and then I'm going to do a quick episode recap and call it a night. Guy that just lost everything. How would you draw that, Johnny? In fact, in fact, Johnny, I challenge you. Um, you, you linked me... This will, this will be our exercise for the week. You linked me uh, a site for art prompts. So what I'll do is I'll do, uh, I'll do a short piece using several art prompts. If you'll do several drawing, or at least one drawing, uh, using writing prompts. Or we'll see what we can come up with. It'll be fun. Trust me. it down. It's official. It's in the show notes. No take backs. And that's all I ask. All I ask is that you try. Because like I, like I keep saying, um, failure is the first step of learning. Thanks, Wordwin. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Uh, night, Johnny. Have a good night. I can't believe you caught both of my streams today. Uh, that, that's hardcore. I don't know how you sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Ruben. Uh, this is gonna be a weekly stream every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I try and do a full episode of like I have I have like a ton of show notes. I don't know if you can see in there. Uh, like I, I take a topic and, and I talk about it. Uh, the first couple have been very theoretical because uh, I'm sort of at the beginning of the process. There's, uh, you know, last week I did creativity. This week I did inspiration and influence. Uh, next week's probably going to be ideas. Uh, but it's, next week's going to be more practical. Uh, I'm going to do a lot more writing on stream, uh, a lot more uh, things like mind maps and outlines and, and different ways of looking at that. Oh, uh, and before I forget, the book for next week um, the next book in the book club is going to be Sid Field's book on screenplay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I, I've read enough, uh, I've read enough, uh, sci uh, fantasy books with the word worm in them to really get that vibe <laughs> of how to pronounce your name. 
So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, so next week we're going to be doing Sid Field's screenplay because uh, it's a classic. And I really like what's... I really like what Sid Field says about John Renoir, and I've never actually read the entirety of it, uh, and I really should. So yeah, that's going to be the next one. And I'm very happy with myself, I didn't play with my pen at all until just right now. Um, and yeah, you were saying you're a, uh, you were saying you're a screenwriter as well, right Smishmosh? Yeah. So yeah, you, you read it. A few of the other books I have planned um, are uh, Save the Cat, um, and also uh, I might do the Screenwriter's Bible. I'm not sure if I will yet. Uh, it's on the it's it's one of the books I do own because I had it for class, and I I kind of want to cover it, but it's kind of dry. I don't know. Maybe I'll spend only one week on that because it can kind of be covered like really quickly. Um, and I also read most of it, so I can skim through a lot more of it. <laughs> I don't have to spend as much time reading it as the others. But yeah. Uh, so what did I cover today? Uh, today I covered uh, Ideas and Influence. So as part of that, uh, I talked about um, having an idea or generating one. Uh, I talked about brick by brick, uh, especially uh, Taste is Your Teacher how uh, you gotta immerse yourself in what you're, what you're studying so you can get better at it. Um, there is a, uh, the next one I covered from Brick by Brick was Be Friends with Failure, which I absolutely love, uh, which is to say, uh, the more you study the great masters, the more you realize how much you suck, but that's okay, uh, because you're learning. And the thing about those masters is they've spent more time failing than you've spent trying. Uh, so you got to get there. You got to put in the work. There's no way around it. But you got to get out and just do it, you know. Uh, and then the last thing I covered was the art of stealing. Uh, how to use your influences to make yourself better and not just a, an imitator, a copier. Someone who, who, doesn't, who doesn't think. Um, so yeah, uh, and then I covered the three ways to imitate, the naturalist, the scientist, and the DJ. Uh, I covered uh, places to study, things to look at to help generate ideas and get influence and, and read new things and see new things. Uh, and then I covered uh, what started out as five, but actually ended up being seven of my influences. Uh, you can see Osama Tezuka in the back there and all that. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what I covered today. Um, just bring her to a close. Um, I've been streaming for about two hours, 20 minutes, which is pretty good. I aim for at least two and a half hours to three hours a night, uh, or a week when I stream. Um, so yeah. Uh, what kind of screenplays am I into writing? Um, I haven't written a ton of screenplays. Uh, I've really written only four, I think. Four or five? Four. Yeah, four. Uh, so I wrote uh, one horror short, one science fiction short, and then I wrote a, like, uh, the screenplay that I wrote was a, um, was a really weird uh, science fiction puzzle drama comedy about a fictional tech company sort of thing it's pretty cool i want to finish it at some point uh but we'll see how it goes uh as part of my class i wrote a uh a couple of spec scripts for some shows and worked on an original show concept which was this really crazy thing about magicians and goblins and stuff uh Again, something I'm kind of working on, so I don't want to say too, too much. Um, I'm pretty free with my ideas in general, but I just, like, I, I want to get a handle on it first before I start throwing out random stuff. Um, I do write a little bit of fantasy. Uh, I've been writing uh, mostly science fiction lately, uh, mostly modern stuff. Uh, yeah, I, write, mm, I really like reading about creative people. 
Uh, so like uh, some of my favorite manga and and movies and all that uh, are like um, Beck, which is about a band, Trigger, which is about a band, uh, movies about actors, uh, stuff like that. So I actually really like uh, a, some of my concepts or a good portion of my concepts are actually about writers and creative people. Um, and yeah, I'm Canadian. I'm from the East Coast. Well, I'm from Ontario. <laughs> But yeah, um, it, it's one of those things where I think it depends on what I'm doing, like what, uh, what, what medium I'm writing in. Um, I find with uh, my short stories, they tend to be pretty science fiction, whereas my novels tend to be about creative people. Uh, and my films tend to be kind of a mix of genres, uh, but specifically genre of films. Uh, so sci-fi, fantasy, horror, um, mystery, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, graphic novels tend to be, uh, fantasy. I actually, I actually, when I work on, I either work on fantasy or I work on superhero explorations. Uh, so non-traditional superhero stuff. Uh, more like, uh, Watchmen or like Black Summer. Uh, oh, what was that one? Uh, Irredeemable. That series, I absolutely love. Uh, stuff like that. Uh, Jeff Lemire's Animal Man Run. Uh, I like that kind of stuff. Uh, that's what I work on when I work on comics. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. And I did see you sim lover. I, I hope I answered your question. I think I did. <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, there's a weekly show every Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, so there will be an episode next week. Uh, I might have to cancel the week after that, because I think I'm going to a convention. It depends if I'm staying there all day or not. Um, but yeah. And yeah, okay. That, that's cool, Smish Mosh. Um, I, I'm not a feel-good kind of guy. I'm a premise guy. So I like weird and strange premises, uh, interesting settings, stuff that really drives uh, drives stories in uh, other than characters. Not that I'm particularly bad at characters, but they are one of my weaker points, I think. Uh, but yeah, so that so I, I tend to I tend to go more uh, settings, which ends up being more genre films uh, than family films. So yeah. I think that's it for me today, guys. Um, I'll see y'all next week. Uh, check out my Twitter and my website. Uh, if you go to web accidentalorigin.com, uh, you'll see all the VODs of the previous episodes. Uh, this one will be up tomorrow. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, I did not say kid stuff. I did not say kid stuff. I thought you meant family films as in like... Uh, uh, like, uh, like made for TV movie style family stuff. Uh, I'm totally into kid stuff. Uh, one of my favorite shows is iCarly, uh, which I'm totally cool with admitting. Uh, I watched tons of cartoons. I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! yesterday, Yokai Watch. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Lego, uh, spin, uh, yeah, the Lego, uh, Spin Jitsu series. Uh, those are really, really cool. Uh, I love Lego in general. I actually can see about 15, 20 sets, some Transformers, a bunch of other stuff in here. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm totally into kid stuff. Like that's, that's a non-issue for me. It's just more of, I, I thought you were referring to something else. Um, but yeah, I don't judge. I don't judge. People are into things. Last week I was talking about how much I like Nora Roberts. Um, cause I do, I think she's very good at what she does. Uh, so yeah, yeah, man. Yoga Watch is is awesome. It it's so well constructed, and uh, they have like the like the continuing series like throughout it. Um, excellent, excellent writing, excellent puns, and all their names and stuff. Uh, I'm a really big fan of Level Five, uh, the company who uh, who actually made the game that Yoga Watch is based on. They make some really good stuff. Uh, so yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, yeah. 
So, yeah, uh, you'll see the VODs on my website. Uh, there'll be show notes, uh, links to videos or certain things that I've used as reference. Uh, uh, I'll have excerpts of the stuff I read on screen uh, and uh, stuff like that. Uh, that should all be up tomorrow by midnight-ish. Depends when I get around to it, but I do have a day off tomorrow, so I'll be working on it. Uh, anyway, so that's it for me this week. Uh, my name is Brendan. This is Accidental Origin, and uh, see you all next time.